Hi, you wonderful artist. Welcome to art class. I'm glad you're here. Today it's all about spring. We'll do a nice vase with wisteria flowers. Let's play with light and shadow. Let's have some fun. Okay, we wanna start with a semi-symmetrical vase and then you're gonna make a shadow on the bottom and a, like a little line for a table. And then get your brush, the one you wanna use for the background. And um, whatever colors you wanna fill with the, the polka dots you can. I use purple and blue because I think it looks cool. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna just choose a opposite color on the color wheel. You guys remember when we learned about the color wheel, it'll make that blue and that purple pop. So I'm gonna just really get my brush saturated. And I'm gonna go ahead and get in there. Feel free to pause the video at any time. I'm gonna go ahead and trace out my window um, first and then just start adding the color. We want to learn about where the light is coming from so we know where to put our shadow. We put our shadow first so then we put our window over where the light will be coming from to cast the shadow on the table. Okay now just fill in your background. Okay, new brush time. I'm gonna get some blue. I want a nice blue day outside my window with some nice fluffy clouds. I wonder what you'll put in your window. Here we go. I'm gonna trace out my clouds here. And I'm gonna color around them. That's my method. I bet your picture looks so beautiful. I can't wait to see them. Okay, and just going in and filling in all the white areas around my clouds. Get some more blue and try to stay inside the lines of your window. And before you know it, with patience and some fun, you'll have a perfect blue cloudy day outside of your window. It can be whatever day you want it to be outside your window. Have fun with it. All right. All right, up next, I'm gonna dab off my brush here. And let me think. Okay, get a little water. 
and we're gonna go in with our green. I think I'm gonna do the stems of our flowers next. What do you think? Yes, yes? Okay, going in, we're gonna twirl our brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of a darker bluish kind of teal, and then I'm gonna twirl it in the lighter green, get it nice and wet, but not too runny, okay? And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna imagine in our minds Imagine with your mind the stems coming out of your vase. Mine's gonna even go in front of my window a little bit. What do you think? Just have fun with it and go softly and push your brush and see what it can do. Now's the time to play with your brush and make it how you want it. And to really use the extension of your arm and use your wrist uh, and develop your technique. I think that you guys will do great. All right, now I'm gonna go and get a little bit of a lighter green. Just gonna maybe make some leaves. Now we're talking technique here for the leaves. You're gonna push softly and then hard and then soft again and pull away. It's gonna take some practice, but stick with it and I'm sure you'll be a great leaf maker. So push softly, Push hardly and then softly again whoop, and just pull it up and out. Keep practicing and you'll get it. Whoop. All right. I think I'm going to put some more here. Do, 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 boop. Some little ones. I'm just filling in the what's called negative space. Those of you who took my art class before, we talked about positive and negative space. So the negative space would be anywhere that's not in the foreground. So in order to make a negative space positive, you will have to put your leaf there and then that becomes, then that becomes the positive space. Okay, let's see. Some more, some more leaves, happy leaves. Blowing in the breeze, possibly because it looks like my window is wide open. I don't think I even have any glass on my window. Da, 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 da. Okay, now that we're gonna finish up our leaves and our stems, I'm gonna wash my brush, dab it off, and I think I'm gonna go in with some deep purple to fill in my vase. I love how it looks white, but I think I might wanna be brave and fill it in with some deep purple. I love the look of a nice grape color. And I'm gonna choose this one. There we go. And then remember, to use your water and twirl it around, feel the consistency. You don't want too watery and you don't want too dry. You want it somewhere nice in the middle. I bet you guys are doing great. Remember, you can pause the video at any time, okay? Now go around your circles. You can do swirls, you can do other polka dots if you want. I'm just gonna fill in my background with some beautiful grape, grapey purple. I love it. Let's go. Now just patiently fill in the background. Remember, pause the video if you want to, or just leave it on in the background while you do yours. Thank you. 
right? We have our vase nice and filled in, so I'm gonna go in here and start dabbing on our wisteria flowers. Wisteria flowers are kind of triangular. If you look at it, kind of like an oblongish triangle. And we're just gonna dab on the darkest purple that you have first. I like to just use the side of my round brush. And just dab, 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 dab. So go ahead and just start dabbing. You get to choose where the flowers come off your stem. And have fun with it. They can be as big or as small as you want. And we're just gonna put some more here. And just keep using that technique. Now I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you wisteria flowers. Ready? Da da da! Wisteria flowers. They hang down low. They're pretty purple, light and dark purple. Aren't they beautiful? So let's remove those and da da da! All right, let's keep working. Let's add a lighter color. I'm gonna go into some pink. All right, and let's dab it on the top. Remember to hold your paper with your other hand. Let's add that beautiful lighter color to all of our blooms. Now let's think about the table. I'd like to make a, hmm, let's go in with a gray, grayish black, with a little green undertone and drag it over from the side. And let's just go in and start coloring our table. So once you get to your shadow, I'll show you what to do. You may pause the video at any time, and most of all, have fun. And <sighs> breathe, and enjoy the process. So here we go, just making the background of the table. I'm gonna go a little bit darker where my shadow is. I'm gonna think about where my light is coming from, and it's just a process. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. And we're gonna go in, do some more. You can always wet your brush if it's not dragging the way you'd like it to. Now, 
So I have this shape, which is kind of a similar shape to my, to my vase. And I'm gonna go in now over the purple, almost like it's a it's a reflecting, uh, it's a reflective um, metal table, and it's gonna show a little bit of that purple in the reflection. This is so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna just go in and do as best as I can coloring that, and most of all, be kind to myself if I make a mistake, and just keep going because it's your artwork and the fun you have is the fun you bring to the table. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, I think I'm gonna go in here and rinse my brush a little bit. I'm really happy with my reflection on the table of my shadow and I'm gonna go in with some dark purple and go on top of the light that we put down that's now dry. So go ahead and use that same technique of dabbing it like we did earlier with your darker purple. Okay, I'm gonna go in and just have some fun with my dots on my vase. I feel like I wanna add some darker blue to it. I'm gonna actually maybe just fill in these parts of it and I'm just having fun with it. That's what it's all about. So go ahead and grab yourself a darker color and just play with the dots that you put on your vase earlier. What I love about this is that you can go back and make it different you can change it to be anything that you want you can have fun with colors and most of all make your vase really fun to look at and make it part of the the artwork it's artwork within artwork and remember you can use your pinky to stabilize your brush if you wanted to go in and add a little bit of detail so have fun and go in there and make your vase fun You may want to take the time to go in with a darker purple again and just do the underbelly of your wisteria flowers. This gives it a little pop. So let's talk about the technique that you just used under your wisteria flowers. I want you to go in with a blank piece of paper. You may pause the video to get one and just go into your paper and do the technique over and over and over again and fill up that whole paper. Once it's dry, put in your art folder and save. Now put your brush down, put that piece of paper away in your folder. Last part, let's get started on our window treatment. 
So window treatment is just curtains that you put on your window. I want to make some nice sheer curtains, I think, today in front of our window, kind of ones that just blow softly in the wind. I'm going to make a, you know, a line in the middle and then two dots on either end. It does not have to be perfect. Just go in there and have some fun. Could even be a piece of wood that's holding those things together on the window treatment and that would make it fun. It would be like a woodly woodland house with a stick curtain rod. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is your window can look any way you want. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get a soft pink. I'm gonna go over my window, make it look like there's almost a sheer curtain on top. And I'm going to make a long flowing part of the bottom. Remember to make your um, paint as dry or wet as you need it. You don't want it too dry and you don't want it too wet. Remember. So, and you'll get this over time with the practice. The perfect consistency that you like. Okay. I'm gonna go in there and just put a little dark edge on there. I think I like it. I might even go on top of my flowers again with that pretty pink color. Take your time. No rush. Okay. And there we have it. I'm gonna let it dry. Dry, dry, dry. Dry, 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 dry. And I'm gonna then go in with the Sharpie. Dry, 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 and here we go. You may use a black marker or any color marker you want. I'm gonna use a black one. Okay, go in there. Going softly around the edges, just taking my time. Take your time, no rush. I'm gonna even outline my little bubbles on my base. You may do so also. Whatever you want to do with your outline time, you go ahead and do it. Outlining is so much fun. Really makes all the colors on your paper pop. detail to the window treatment what do you say I think yes you can always find something to do yeah even a little bit of like a, a fun ruffled edge there okay I think I'm getting really happy go in there and just add a little edge to this curtains maybe even under Again, it makes our flowers kind of pop off the page. So pretty! I know you guys are loving yours. I can't wait to see them. Please send it to me. And don't forget to sign your piece, Miss Abby. Dun, da, da. Great job, everyone. XOXO. Clean up your area after you're done. And it will be ready for you when you come back for another art class. Great job. I'm so proud of you all. Ah, let's just marvel at our work now. How fun. This still life doesn't feel very still. So here we go. I'm going to clean my brushes. Remember to properly clean your brushes. Dab them off on a towel. 
treat your brushes well and they will treat you well back. And then put your towel aside to use again or to wash and go ahead and dump your water, rinse out your cup, make it nice and clean. There we go. Ready for next time. And close your paints. In gratitude, so much love to all of you. All right, signing off. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.